Oh, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name is Paige Hallett, and I'm here to talk to you about how hair dye is a carcinogen. First, let me start off by getting cleaned up. Much better. Now, first I'm going to start off by telling you the definition of a carcinogen. The definition of carcinogen is a substance capable of causing cancer in living tissue. Now, you might think that I'm a hypocrite trying to tell you how hair dye causes cancer when clearly I dye my hair. And here is my defense to that. Okay, I've got nothing. But hopefully by the time that you're done this video, you'll understand how it's actually a carcinogen and how hair dye actually can possibly cause cancer. And here's how. So in hair dye, the main two ingredients or chemicals in hair dye that cause the long lasting color, and by long lasting I mean the color stays in for more than 12 shampoos, is hydrogen peroxide and ammonia. So when you mix these, mainly in hair dye, this is what causes the long lasting. So this is the important ingredient to hair dye. The hydrogen peroxide is the developer. The larger the volume of the developer, the more sulfur is removed from your hair. This ingredient helps the forming of the color and the long last of it. The ammonia separates the cuticle to penetrate the cortex of the hair. When it's added to the peroxide, this creates the permanent hair color. Hair dyes also include various alcohols that tend to dry your hair out. So watch out for that when you're buying hair dyes. Hair dyes are used in hair or certain sections of hair to dye and stain a certain color into it. You can use gloves, you can even use a paintbrush. You can go out and you can go to a hair salon and you can get it done at the hair salon. People are exposed to this carcinogen by skin contact. This mainly happens in the scalp, but it can also happen in whatever region you use a hair dye for like facial hair, eyebrows, other regions. Side effects of this carcinogen include allergic reactions because the hair dye itself contains allergy-inducing sensitizers. It can irritate your skin. There's links between hair dyes and risks of cancer. And there's hair breakage. Dr. Ian White, a dermatologist, found in his report for the EC's Scientific Committee on Consumer Safety that there are 36 chemicals in hair dye that are skin sensitizers. In a 2008 World Health Organization study, there's been an evidence of increase of bladder cancer risks in hairdressers and barbers who are constantly working around hair dye and its chemicals. This study is less clear towards the people who actually use the hair dyes in their own hair. International study reported in 2008 that females using dark colored hair dye in the 1980s and earlier showed a small increase of various types of lymphoma. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma, follicle lymphoma, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or small lymphocytic lymphoma. There are 20 deaths a year in the UK, although not as hair dye being a carcinogen. No, but from anaphylaxis. The immune system has such an extreme reaction that it causes anaphylactic shock. This can be so extreme that it can lead to death. So how can you protect yourselves from being affected by hair dyes? Don't use it. Or if you're a barber or a hairdresser, keep the hair dyes from being used in your shop. Do not breathe the chemicals. Do not become into skin contact with the chemicals. Do not ingest the chemicals. Cancer is rapid growing cells that can spread through the body. It can start with one cell or a group of cells. Cancer doesn't stop reproducing on its own either, and it doesn't have to stick onto the surface to reproduce so it can spread throughout the entire body. Thank you for watching. I hope by the end of this you understand how hair dye actually does and can possibly cause cancer. Come to find you for in some velvet morning He is too late She's a silver lining Lone ranger riding through an open space